are we gonna do the deal? Mm -hmm. That was sketchy. That was super sketchy. That was very sketchy. Sketch, sketchy, 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 sketchy. Well, hope this works. Now, should you be waiting for the ROG Ally X or just get your hands on the ROG Ally if you never had a Windows handheld before. So this announcement is kind of old and right now it is July 14th. On July 22nd, the ROG Ally X comes out. The ROG Ally X is like this mid-cycle refresh for the ROG Ally. I love my Steam Deck OLED. I've used it on trips. I've loved how I was able to tackle a lot of my backlogs and the OLED screen. It was pretty much the perfect travel companion for me. There was one thing though that I really didn't like and that was the compatibility to some of those games. The RG Ally on the other hand, I can play some of those games that I couldn't because it wasn't compatible on Linux. Some games being like gacha games. There are a lot of gacha games that I would rather play on my PC or some sort of handheld over playing on my phone. Uh, just because I do like the bigger screen and I do like controller compatibility rather than playing on a touch screen, like your phone. And the RG Ally does just that. Not only can I play my Steam Deck games, but I can also play those mobile games, which I have a hard time playing with a touch screen. I got my RG Ally through the Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I had a couple of things that I could trade in for the RG Ally. And because of that, I didn't really pay much for it. But before this video, I did see a lot of RG Allies on sale on Facebook Marketplace for like 300, 350, 400. And I did see on some bigger franchises like Best Buy, there were open boxes for around 300 or 450. Since then, I did see the prices go up. So they're ranging around from 400 to $500, which is still significantly cheaper than the RG Ally X. And that brings me to the first point. The RG Ally X is $800. Not only is it $800 that you had to put down for this new mid-cycle refresh, but you're essentially looking at $800 plus $100 to $150 additional for a new drive, like a two terabyte drive. You could just get the ROG Ally for $400 less through an open box. Most of the open boxes for the ROG Ally is pretty brand new. There aren't any cosmetic damages to some of them. This is all because there isn't a lot of people out there that want to go through the whole setup process for the ROG Ally. With the ROG Ally X being $800, open box with the ROG Ally being $400, $450 to $500, Steam Deck LCD being around $400, the OLED being $500, and that's already a better handheld in my opinion when you want something to work straight out of the box. There's also other places where you can get these handhelds for cheaper, being Facebook Marketplace or even eBay, and you don't necessarily have to purchase it with money. If you're lucky enough, you could also find people who are willing to do trades for these handhelds just because they have no use for it anymore. With the ROG Ally, you are looking at 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, a 40 watt hour battery, and a 2230 NVMe SSD storage drive. Now with the ROG Ally X, you're looking at double the battery space being at 80 watt hours, 24 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, and a full size SSD being at 2280 NVMe SSDs. Now with the ROG Ally, there are two things that I don't like. One being the battery life. It is so short. I'd always have to carry some sort of charger with me or I had to play it plug into a wall. Like right now, just turned it on. Um, I did charge it yesterday, but I haven't turned it on since now. And it's only at 76%. I don't know why the battery life is so short. I did try a bunch of different methods and saving battery, but I don't want to lose the quality sometimes when I'm playing these games. And that's exactly why I would rely on my Steam Deck whenever I'm going somewhere to play on handheld. The Steam Deck just is a better experience out of the box, as well as the battery life on it is just so much better. I can play for 
two to three hours for AAA games and I wouldn't really have to worry about plugging it in. The other gripe would be the setup process. Now the setup process for the ROG Ally is crazy. It took me about like half a day just to get it ready. Just because of all these updates, I need to make sure I had a good connection. Sometimes I unplug the battery forgetting that uh, I need it plugged in just so I can run some of those updates which then I had to start over and then restart the updates. But after those updates, it was really fast. It was an easy process to update a lot of the drivers on a Windows handheld. The only thing is that it takes a long time to do. If you're looking at the ROG Ally X compared to the ROG Ally, the price to performance is not worth it. You can go with $455 for the first version or $800 for pretty much the exact same performance. It's like an additional $400 for a black colorway, double the battery size, and you're looking at the same screen, the same processor, a slightly better performance bump from the ROG Ally. And the one terabyte storage in the ROG Ally X, that's around $80 for full size. So if you're going to a two terabyte, you're looking at around $100, $150. Or you could save your money and just wait for the ROG Ally 2. The ROG Ally 2 being a actual appropriate performance upgrade. And when you're comparing the ROG Ally to the ROG Ally X on paper, the ROG Ally X does look better. But once you look at it as a daily use, it's not as special as you might think it is. And then you start thinking about how close the new things are. You've essentially waited long enough for a Windows handheld upgrade. So you could just wait a little bit more just for something that's better worth your money. Here's how I see it. You have three options. If you have the first version, the ROG Ally, then you would probably just wait for the ROG Ally 2 for a more appropriate upgrade. If you don't have the ROG Ally or any Windows handheld and you would like to jump into that space, then maybe going for the ROG Ally X is a pretty good idea. Or you could just go for an open box ROG Ally. Option three is pretty much just to save your money, don't get the ROG Ally or the ROG Ally X and wait for the ROG Ally 2. And if you end up not getting the ROG Ally 2, you could speculate to see the ROG Ally X and the ROG Ally going even more down in price. And you can check third party marketplaces like Facebook Marketplace for something cheaper than what bigger franchise stores would offer you. And in that way, you have more time to think what actually suits you for a Windows handheld. So I do like this Windows handheld, the ROG Ally. Uh, to me, I get to play games that I can't on the Steam Deck just because Linux can't operate some of those anti-cheats. And the ROG Ally to me kind of is perfect for me. I get to play the games I don't really get to play on the Steam Deck. And again, my only problem is keeping this plugged in all the time. But thinking about it in a daily use, I do save $400. I don't need to upgrade for the ROG Ally X and being plugged in isn't necessarily a problem. And with battery life, I can always make up for it. Rather than spending an additional $400 selling the ROG Ally and using the money as collateral to get the ROG Ally X, it doesn't seem worth it. There are better methods such as getting external battery with 100 watts or 150 watts for $100 and using that to extend the battery life for the ROG Allies seems to be a better direction for me to take. And maybe waiting for the ROG Ally 2 would be a more substantial upgrade for me just because like the Steam Deck, having the mid-cycle refresh for the Steam Deck OLED, if the ROG Ally X came with the OLED screen, if it had the OLED screen, I would be more inclined to getting the ROG Ally X for that mid-cycle refresh because I can always appreciate better graphics. Other things that mentioned for the ROG Ally X does come in the black colorway only. I know there was a lot of people that were really excited for a darker colorway for the ROG Ally X, but in my opinion, I do like the lighter aesthetic. So the first ROG Ally being a white colorway seems to fit my aesthetics a lot more. So that's why I'm not going to go for the mid-cycle refresh for the ROG Ally X, and I'm going to stick with the ROG Ally. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to pick up the ROG Ally X or if you're going to stick with the ROG Ally. A great way for you guys to help me out with this channel would be to give this video a like and subscribe below.
And if you guys can, please share this video to a friend that are considering on picking up the ROG Ally X or instead to just pick up the ROG Ally. Thanks. Peace.